Man, this sucks. I want it to be my part already. Dude, chill. This is one of the rare moments we actually get to work on other things, like our homework. That's true. We do have a lot of calculus homework. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It has to. After all, these are the correct pages Pike gave us for homework, right? Uh, we had to have Kobe this in class, right? I don't know. I was kicked out of math class for too many infractions. No, we didn't. What the heck is f of x equals the square root of sine like natural log x supposed to mean? Who? Ha ha, you fools! You have released me, the phantom of the PAC, from my mathematical prison! And now I shall seek my revenge on the school by destroying your precious PAC and ruining your school musical! <laughs> but you can't do that! Oh, but I can! But tell you what, I'll give you a chance to save your silly little school theater. Around the entire performing arts building, I've hidden pieces of your precious equation. If you can find them and solve this equation by midnight, I won't destroy the PAC for another 24 hours! <laughs> he can't really destroy the PAC, can he? I don't want to take any chances. But solve this equation. We only have till midnight. Well, I mean, if you think about it, this ghost is actually really nice. He, he's given us way more time than AP did. Why did you even read the Latin in the first place? Don't you know never to read the Latin? But it wasn't Latin. It was calculus. Close enough for you to know not to read it aloud. Guys, uh -huh. come on. We need to focus on this equation. But How we about we forget the equation, leave quietly one at a time, and just drive away like nothing ever happened here? Well, I mean, we can't because none of us have our driver's license. Guys, come on. Put yourself together. It's obviously a chainable equation. Alright, so that means that we can find f of u by taking everything under the square root and changing it to u. f of u equals the square root of u. Oh, wait a minute! I saw that in the foyer earlier! <gasps> Go then! Come on! Come on. Lead the way, man! Hey, I found the natural log! So I thought that this phantom of the PAC was a joke between the inside, between the advanced drama students. But it's real? Um, yeah, that's right. Well, Wyatt, I think as the advanced drama students, we should fill them in on the story. Huh, I guess so. <sighs> so, a long time ago... Actually, it was just last year. There was a senior drama student named Juan Chico, and halfway through the year, he died. Actually, he moved schools. He died. No, he's still alive. He graduated from he the school he moved to. Died. <laughs> and now his ghost haunts the PAC forever. Uh, alrighty then. So next, I guess we can find the U, right? So U equals sine of natural log of x, since that's what was under the square root sign, right? You, you know, I saw that in the R room earlier. <gasps> Let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay. Well, well, that one's placement was quite hard. Oh, what'd you say? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Oh, there are parentheses in this. What? No, it can't be. What that means? Two chains. Skirt, 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 hit it with. 
well, that's okay. We just redo the steps we just did, right? Right. So the second chain is of F U equals sine U, right? And U would equal the natural log of U. Yeah. I saw the F U in the choir room. And I saw the U in the black box. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meet backstage and we'll put pieces together. Cool. The derivative of F u would equal cosine of u, right? Yeah. Well, that's in the banner. Wow. It is dark in here. Katrina, go over there and get the cosine, would you? Thanks. All right, let's meet Teresa and them back in the PAC. Hey, we got the F u and its derivative. Yeah. Where's Teresa? She went to get you. But we're right here. No, oh. not you. She went to go get the prime of you. Guys, he's back! Man. Isn't it amazing that we all happened to see where the pieces were the equation were before he even started release the phantom? Wait, what did Teresa say? Ah! Ah! No way! Ah! Stop holes in the plot! As a C, my equation was too easy for you all. You now have 10 minutes to solve my equation before I kill you all! Woo! Ghost noises! Cool. Help me! What? Oh my god, no. Don't leave us. What? I got the piece! We just need to solve the equation now! What the heck do we do now? We put it together. We take the second derivative of u and plug in the u. Then we times it by the u derivative. Simplify. That's right! And the and that becomes the U prime from the first chain! Oh, then we repeat the last steps. Ah, my stab wound! I am bleeding to death. <laughs> ah! Quick question. How do we put this on the calculator? This is a non-calculated section. So shut up! <laughs> Our equation, f of x equals the square root of sine natural log of x. First thing we need to do, since we know this is chain rule, well, is we have to find the f the f, f u, which would equal everything under the square root, which means that it's square root u. Simple enough. After that, we would wa we want to find the derivative of the f of u. Who? <coughs> and in taking the derivative, set, being that it's assumed that there is power there, we mer we merely put a one half, one, over two, square root, u. Now we're going to have to find the u to go along with this. The u being everything under the square root sign. Therefore, our u is sine natural log of x. However, being that there are parentheses inside of our u, we now know that it's two chains. So, we, so we start again. Fabulous. Which means that our new f of u equals the sine hint of u. Derivative of F U. I'm not going to comment on that. Would be cosine U because we know the derivative of sine is cosine. Now, on to our U. Our U, which equals the natural log of X. And with that, we can take, we can quickly take the derivative 
of the u, which equals 1 over x. Now, to simplify all that down, all this equals cosine natural log of x over x. We plug that in to our first set of the chain, which would mean that this equals our original derivative of u. With that, we now plug all of this in. And from that, we get 1 over 2 times the square root of sine natural log of x okay. times cosine natural log of x over x. Now we can simplify this down further, but er, at which point we get the derivative of x, big x opposed to little x specifically, equals cosine natural log of x over 2 times x times the square root of sine net natural log of x. That is enough. And that is a, and that is our answer. Got it? But wait, he's still going to destroy the PAC. We've just delayed him for a short time. Also, he killed Wyatt. Yeah. I'm mean, just saying. That's not that bad. Eh. Oh, I've got an idea. To beat him at his own game. Math games? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Now huddle. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I see you solved my little equation, but will you be able to solve the next one? Hold on there, Skippy. We played your little game, and now it's our turn. You have one minute to solve it. Mm -hmm. What? A simple derivative equation? You must be mocking me. But fine, have it your way. The answer is 5x to the fourth. Uh, wrong. <laughs> what? How dare you say I'm wrong? Look at your constant again. You're not deriving to x, but to i. No, no! It's not possible! I'm never wrong! Katrina, Roman, I think our ghost isn't a ghost at all. Isn't that right, Juan Chico? Come on, guys. Let's unmask this phony. No! Yeah, I would have gotten away with it too. If it wasn't for you meddling calculus students. Tell it to the principal. Come on, guys. Look, it's 3.15 in the morning. I don't want to do any credits, so I'm going to, you know, just do them here. Uh, credit for the song goes to Two Chains. It, it, the name is Forks or Fork. Uh, credit for the special effects, like the dust and the explosions and some of the sound effects, goes to Video Copilot. Um, their Action Essentials pack. Credit for the spaces used goes to Miss Yunt. Uh, Mr. Schneider, Mr. Pike, other people. Uh, thanks Parham for letting us, you know, use the cameras. Thanks uh, Roman, Teresa, and 
Katrina for being so cooperative. Uh, except for Roman. He walked in front of where the letters were a lot, and that that made me rotoscope a lot and probably added an hour and 30 minutes to the time that it took to do this. If you, if you didn't notice, go back and look at every time Roman walks in front of a letter or, you know, some part of the equation. Yeah, it looks like he's actually walking in front of it. That takes time. Lots of time. <laughs> anyway, other than that, I think we're pretty much good on credits. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks, Juan Chico, for letting us use his likeness, although we didn't really ask him, but uh, he'll be fine. So later. Bye. I'm gonna go do essays now.